everyone! Welcome back to Minty Kids! Today, we're going to be reading this wonderful book called Little Sisters Are a Big Deal Written by Adrian C. Graham Make sure to check the description below for a link so you may purchase your own copy for your home library. Anyway, let's get to it! My name is Christine, and I have a little sister. Her name is Renee. She was born when I was just three years old. She didn't bother me much when she was a baby, but now that I'm six and she's three, she's driving me bananas. When I play with dolls, she wants to play with dolls. When I watch cartoons, she wants to watch cartoons. When I take a bath, she has to take a bath with me, and she always eats the bubbles. When I get new clothes, she gets new clothes, and they look just like mine. My mom says that having a little sister is very special, and that I am lucky to have her. I'm not so sure about that. Of course, I love my little sister. I think she's cute most of the time. I think she's funny most of the time. And I think she's pretty smart. Well, for a three-year-old. What really bothers me is how she has to do everything I do. Last week, my best friend turned seven. Yes, seven. She had a unicorn party with snacks, bounce houses, and awesome big kid games. It was a lot of fun. Well, until my little sister got hurt and we had to go home. I didn't understand why I had to leave the party. It was my friend who turned seven and my sister didn't even get a real invitation like I did. When we got home, mom said that I couldn't watch TV because Rene needed to rest. She said I should read some books or color instead. I didn't like those choices, so mom said maybe I should just go to bed. It turned out to be the worst day ever. That night before I went to bed, I made a wish that my little sister would disappear. Only for a year or two, nothing major. I just knew things would be a lot better if she wasn't around. When I got up the next morning, my mom called me down for breakfast. It was a Saturday, and on Saturdays, Renee and I take turns choosing what we eat. What would you like for breakfast this morning, Christine? Mom asked. It's not my day, I said. I chose last week. Well, then, whose turn is it? Mom asked with a confused look on her face. That's when I realized something was very different. As I looked around the house, I noticed that there were no baby toys on the floor, or scribbles on the wall, or baby shows on TV. In fact, there was no sign of my little sister anywhere. That's when it hit me. My wish had come true. I'll take pancakes, I said happily. I knew it was going to be a great day. No Renee following me around or copying me or getting all the attention from mom and dad. When we were all dressed, mom took me for a walk and we stopped at the park. I loved having her all to myself. Instead of telling me to kick my feet on the swings, she pushed me the entire time. She helped me on the monkey bars and she even raced me around the park. There was only one time when I had to play alone because mom had to take a very important phone call. After the park, we went to the grocery store. I got to pick out snacks all by myself. I helped mom find food and I got to tell her the price of everything. It was great until mom saw one of her good friends 
and they talked for what felt like hours and hours. It got pretty boring standing there waiting for her to finish. After we left the grocery store, Mom told me that I would have to stay with a neighbor, Miss Sanders, until she finished her last errand. Miss Sanders' house wasn't bad, except she had no children, which meant she had no toys, or candy, or cartoon channels. I usually just played with Renee. This time, since Renee wasn't around, I had to help Miss Sanders sort coupons. I could hardly wait for Mom to come and get me. When we got home, I watched my favorite shows and ate my favorite snacks. It was great not having to share my food with anyone. Once my favorite shows went off, I asked Mom if I could use my paint set. She said it was fine, so I got it down from the shelf and got my paint shirt on. When Renee's around, she always gets paint on the floor. Then Mom says we can't paint for a few days. I didn't have to worry about that this time. I got out my favorite colors and began to paint a picture of a unicorn and rainbows. Everything was going great until I finished my picture. Renee wasn't there to tell me how good it looked or ask me to help her paint a picture just like it. She wasn't there to paint cute pictures that mom and dad would put on the fridge right next to mine. I kind of missed that. I kind of missed her. Before I went to sleep, I thought about all the things that I used to do with Renee, and I got a little sad. Having Renee around really wasn't as bad as I thought. The next morning, I ran downstairs, preparing to ask mom and dad for a new baby sister. I had no idea how this was going to go, but it was worth a try. Before I made it downstairs, I heard a giggle that sounded very familiar. I thought it might be something on TV, so I just ignored it. As I headed into the kitchen, my eyes grew wide. Sitting there in her high chair was my little sister, Renee. Boy, am I glad to see you. I said as I ran over to give her a big hug. I'm glad you're happy to see her, said mom. You'll also be happy to know that I'll be keeping her with me today while you go to your play date this afternoon. I know how much you like time alone with your friends. Mom was right. I love spending time alone with my friends, but I love spending time with my sister even more. You know what, Mom? I asked. I think I want Renee to come with me today. She's my little sister, and I'm very lucky to have her. Well, everyone, that's pretty much it for today, but thank you so much for reading with me. If you have a younger sister or brother, remember that they're so important because whether you believe it or not in the moment, they add much more fun and joy to your life. Care for them and treat them with love, since they're your family after all. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the coming days for more videos and stories like this one. Bye!